Hi everybody! So today we're going to paint the tropical sunrise. Okay, so the sun's coming up and we can see how the color changes in the sky. It's because of the nitrogen in the atmosphere that changes these colors. But we're going to get our do the sky first. And then after we get the sky to change, that's really fun, right? Then we do the water, but look, the water is on top of the sky. So even if we make the, the bottom of the sky ugly, the water goes on top anyway, right? So, and then the most magical thing about paint is not that you put a color right here and then a color right here. Nobody cares about that. That's a very boring painting. What we want to see is when two colors touch, they make a new color. So what does yellow and then orange? Oh, a yellowy orange, a baby yellow orange where they touch. And then what comes after that? Here's orange. What comes after that? Pink? Let me like a line, like a flag? No. I go pinky orange where they touch. A pinky, that's the magic. That is the magic. And then with my water, I like all those different colors. What, and I just make strings of them. But what if I keep rubbing it? What will happen? I'll just get baby blue. Very boring, very ugly. So I go, oh, I'm going to decorate it with long, skinny strings of color. And then I stop because I like the versions of color. So to make 3D, a 3D painting, it's dark, medium, and light. So if you look at my sky, do I have a light color? Do I have a medium color? Do I have a dark color? Dark, medium, light. How about my water? Do you see dark areas? I didn't get any white over there. Don't care. Dark. How about medium? Ooh, this greenish blue is mediumish, right? And then how about light color? Light. Dark, medium, light, 3D. Okay, that's what we're hoping for, which means you have to stop touching your paint once you like it. Every time you touch it, it mixes a little bit more, a little bit more until you just get one color. And if we wanted them all mixed together, we just stir them together in a bowl. No, that's not what we want. We want strings. So you guys ready? Very exciting. And if you've never painted before, I'm the most happy for you because this excitement, this nervousness you have is your brain ready to learn something. And then your brain has to be confused, nervous, and frustrated. And then your brain understands it. And then your brain thinks it's easy. But we have to do the first one first. Confused and frustrated. Okay, you ready? So find your great big giant paintbrush. And we need to open our paints. So just the sky colors. So white first. I'm going to open it and put it on my table. My table's next to me over here. Yours gets to be in front of you. Lucky for you. And then I guess yellow's next, right? So I'm gonna open yellow, hmm? blue. Oh, then orange, and orange is very dark. You think it's not, but there is a lot of orange powder in there. So you're like, oh, calm down orange. Oh my God, you're so dark, I swear. And then love pink, pinky pink. Best color ever, pink, right? But what, wait, that means we get to make a little orangey yellow where they touch. We get to make a little orangey pink where they touch. So pretty. Can't wait. You ready? Okay, so we're going to paint half of it. For, we're going to, because this is acrylic paint and it evaporates really fast, we're going to paint like uh, up to halfway with white paint. Just get it all wet with white just sopping wet with white paint. A disgusting amount of white paint. And then we'll decorate it with some color. But the white paint is going to decorate, get decorated, okay? So it acts like our water. And we do not use water in this painting, okay? Because a drip of, uh, you get water in your paintbrush and you touch it, the water falls out and erases your paint. But as long as we go in rainbow order, we won't make any ugly colors, okay? So uh, as big as your hand, let's just stab the white paint like we're mad, right? And I'm a, I don't care. I just stab it. Stab. Oh, I 
just get a whole bunch of paint. Now you do it. Blech. Right? You can trust yourself. It's just a blob of paint. Get it. And then, where was I saying? So, if my thumb is touching the line and then my pink, I don't know, my pinky goes, I guess. And I'm just going to put, like, hold my paintbrush the flat way and just put a little line. Whoop! There. Just for my brain. So I know how high up to go. You know, what? just a little flip. <laughs> right? Let's just stretch it all the way across for our brain, right? Oh, just for our brain. And we go, all right, meh. All right. I'm a little high on mine. I don't care. I don't care. But it's white on white. Very hard to see. So it being shiny is really the only way you can tell you did it right. Okay. Now, let's smooth it. Okay. So that's a little lumpy. So I'm going to use the, and I use the side of my paintbrush. The tip is, look how sharp she is. She's like little needles. So I'm going to use the soft side of my paintbrush. This is the soft side, the flat side. And I'm just going to go off the page and smooth it. And fall off the page. Now I know it's smooth. Smoothness. And you can use a lot of paint. Do not worry about having globs of paint. It'll just be a shiny cloud. Now, who's ready to paint the rest of it? Okay. And we're going to do this fast because what is happening the whole time we're painting? The air is stealing the water out of our paint. And putting the paint thin like this means the air, the air will steal a lot of water. Okay. Now let's get it sopping wet with white paint all the way down to the line. And if you paint the line, it doesn't matter. Because remember, the water goes on top. So now I'm going to stab my white so hard like I am. I'm... Okay, I got a lot. Now you do it. Okay. And then you just kind of go underneath that white line we did. And it's a disgusting amount. But we'll smooth it. We'll smooth it. So you just go smoosh. Smash, 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 and then all of a sudden it's dry. Should I keep pushing? No, just get more paint. I get another stab of paint. Stab! Now I'm gonna go below that glob. I just make. Now I go below that. Smash, 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 and then it's dry already. Look at that. So what do I do when it's dry? Give up? No. You just get more paint. Stab! Remember, if it's already wet, do not touch it again. You're just making it thinner and thinner. Okay, <gasps> now I'm going to go down. Look at how, can you see mine being shiny a little bit? I don't know. And I'm going to go even lower. Oh. But you know what? I can see in the light. I had dry places. Look at, I can... It is dry on the sides. A big dry piece in the middle. Now I need to go and put more paint. More white. But now I'm going to go, okay, the, that's all dry. Look at nothing, nothing. Okay, the sides. She needs to be wet. All right. And a little bit more paint. Step. And then you can be painted on the... No, 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 no. Oh, there. Wait. Shine. Oh, I got it on the line. Is that bad? No. <laughs> We don't care about the pencil anymore. We can still see it. I'm just looking for no dry area left. Gone. Let me see. I'm trying to use the light and, oh, this is not wet at all. Try to use the shine. Oh, I like Shelby's. She has lumps on here. You know what those are gonna be? Shiny parts in her sky. It doesn't matter. Question. Question, go. So the white paint, we cut, we, from the top, we have, we paint it all the way to the bottom until where that black line uh -huh. starts? Because we made it slippery so we can add more color and decorate it. Because look at how white it is near the bottom. Right? It's a trick. And what big, pa what paintbrush are we using? Great big giant one. Right, Shelby? Shelby? This big paintbrush? Okay, yeah. Okay, who's ready to decorate? 
Oh, Stella has a question. Me. Go ahead, Stella. Uh, I don't have the face brush. You know what? Just use the this one then. Just be really, really sloppy and smash her so she gets big. See that? If I smash her, she's humongous. And just and make her floofy. Now she's big. Okay, who's ready to decorate that boring white paint? That is the most boring thing I ever saw. So now I'm gonna decorate it with yellow. You guys ready? Oh, Alexander, Alexander. Oh, let me tell everybody. I can, for the sky, I can only be flat. How come? Because of the wind. There's no wind that goes up and down. It's grass. The texture of the sky matters. Okay, who's ready? I got my yellow paint. Now, I don't have to clean my paintbrush because I'm going to make baby yellow. I'm going to stab my yellow. Stab! Oh! Like that. Now you do it. And look how I'm holding my paintbrush like a pencil so I could use the flat side, flat side. Is that like that? Right? Okay, now I'm gonna drop it off right smack in the middle. Just wipe it off in the middle of your white. It doesn't matter. Just drop it off. It's a boogie and you're trying to get it off your paintbrush. Yes, Stella. I only have this one. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Are you oh, sure man, that's the only ones in your bag? Dump everything out of your bag. Okay. Yeah, mine, yeah, mine are hiding too. So they might be ones, in right? your napkins. They get stuck in there. Okay, everybody pause and look. Now I'm going to make this, how many color values for 3D? Three, dark, medium, light. Let's make dark yellow. One paintbrush big, watch. Sm off the page to off the page. I don't let it get bigger. Off the page to off the page. There's my dark yellow. Wait, hold the paintbrush big. Nice and big, smoosh, smash, smoosh, smash. And we don't care about the texture. Off the page, but don't, the sides get jealous. So fall off the page and fall off the page. Okay, now let's make medium yellow. Okay, everybody watch, everybody push pause. Okay, so it's very yellow, right, very yellow. Now I'm gonna overlap it and put another line, just the paint that's in my paintbrush, which should make a medium yellow, but I do let it touch the bottom, right? Watch this. Now I'm gonna go, all right, I'm touching it, I'm touching it, right? And I just go, oh, oh, it's like a, me a medium yellow is happening. I am touching the bottom of it, but I can't go up higher and get more. No, 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 I'm supposed to run out. Oh, I made a lighter yellow because I went one row lower. Smush it, push hard, hold on to your painting. She's trying to get away. And go lower, a row lower, lower. Look, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Hold your paintbrush like this, like a pencil. My fingers, just like you hold your pencil. And then, yeah, and then you can use the side, the side, yeah. Push, push. Okay, now let's make baby, baby yellow. Let's try to run out of yellow. Emmanuel, go lower. Now the nether row, lower, lower. I'm running out, I'm running out. It's completely invisible yellow, and I don't care. She's completely gone. All the way down to the water line until you run out of yellow. Stella, you don't have yours? Okay, I would just wait and then wait till you get the, the supplies from school. I could send some more to school and then just watch the YouTube video. It'd be impossible to make this painting with the teeny tiny paintbrush. Disasters happen. I don't know. This world is crazy. I've learned that this week. Okay, wait. Everybody pause. Wait, Alexander, you didn't go low enough. That yellow needs to run out of paint until it disappears into nothing touching that line. You're sp wait, you're not supposed to get more yellow. You're trying to run out of yellow. Go lower, 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 lower. And then you run out. Well, how many color values do you have? Wait, don't go into the water. Not the water. Okay, look. Is it dark yellow at the top? Medium yellow? Lighter yellow? Invisible yellow? Excellent. Right? 
It's called a fade or a blend. And who ate up all our yellow? The white ate up our yellow. We gave it permission. Now let's go, don't get any more paint. Let's just, the top is a little perfect. Let's scribble the top a little to get that, that looks a little perfectly straight. I don't like it. So I'm just gonna go, goodbye hard straight line. Get out of here. There, just there. I calmed it down. The stupid, like, like a flag. Calm down top line. Cha, cha. Just to, just scribble it a little, like, you're all perfect. Just go, blah, 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 blah. there, now she has a perfect. Okay, check for 3D. Very yellow, not very yellow, running out of yellow, invisible yellow, mist. 3D. Okay, who wants to make the orangey part? Nice job, Mia. I bet yours is very, very yellow. Okay, now I would like to put orange, but what was that thing we were talking about when two colors touch? What do we try to do? Do we just make another flag color and make a straight line? No, we're gonna try to make a misty new, new orangey yellow. So, okay, but I just made a little bit of orange to do this. So I'm not gonna stab hard with my orange. I'm gonna touch it very softly and just a little, just some. I get some. Oh, yeah, that's not very much. Okay, so could I get more if it's not enough? Yeah, but could I get less? No, right? So I'm gonna put it right on the very top of my yellow that I was just scribbling and just drop it off like a booger. On the yellow, we need yellow's help to make a new color. Just drop it off, like get it off your paintbrush, get off. Then we decorate red. Now go like this, back and forth and back and forth and see if you can make a buttery orange. Oh, mine's dry, look. Look how ugly mine is. Everybody pause and look. Oh, you know what I need? A little poke of white. Watch what happens when I put a little, just a little bit of white. Oh, oh, it's softer. It's a little, oh, it's buttery, buttery, nicer. I made a little, okay, I needed a little bit of white to help me. Put a little bit of white on it, tell her to calm down. A Little bit of white. Doesn't the white, the white's like a cloud. And then, could you get, what's in your little paintbrush now? A little bit of orangey, orangey yellow. Could you go a little bit lower and just make some fuzz and go on top of the yellow just a little bit? Oh, 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 I dropped off a little bit of mist, but just a tiny bit, just a tiny, tiny. Oh, it's like mist on my yellow. I'm not gonna get more orange. I made this baby orange that I'm dropping off inside my yellow and I like it, I like it. Alan, do you see what's in your paintbrush? Yes, now I go about two rows lower, go a little bit lower and then lower than that, and then lower than that, and let your paintbrush run out of paint and it becomes mist. It's not a flag, it's not a straight line, it's a sky. And it has texture, and our scribbly, scribbly texture is sky wind. This is wind, right? It sky kind of looks like a, um, a different kind of rainbow. It does. Okay, now let's do it again. What's in my paintbrush, this yellowy orange? I don't care. But what would I like to make? I would like to make orangey pink. Orange, pink. But I already, look at the what we made. This little, you know, orangey baby color. Well, now let's make orangey pink. But let's get it wet with white first. Let's just stab your white. <laughs> Who has confidence what's gonna happen next? We get the whole top half wet now with our dirty little paintbrush and then we decorate it. But you didn't know before, but now we do. Okay, so just, what if I get some of this white on this baby orange? So we're gonna decorate it. Smush, smush. Oh, look at it, because it's in my paintbrush. I love it. Now I'm gonna get more white because that just wasn't enough for me. Oh, it's still a little bit dry, a little bit more white. 
Okay, now it's slippery. It's slippery, slippery, slippery. Oh, I got some white on my baby orange and I don't even care. I don't even care. I got it on my baby orange. So, you're just jealous. I like the texture I made. Put some of that white on your baby orange. Nobody cares. We're going to make orangey pink. Who thought the orange was way more powerful than you thought? Didn't we just get a speck of orange? Look how dark she was. Oh. Well, let's make orange again, but let's watch out for her because she has so, they put so much of the orange powder in this one. It's like calm down orange. So we'll stat, we'll just poke our orange again and try again, but not to, just in the middle, not at the top because what's the top for? Pink. So I'm just going to go, okay, just some orange. Okay. Just some. A little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna we're gonna go above our orange by this much and then make new orange, right? So I already got some white on my orange. I don't care. But I just went there. Hey, didn't we do this before? We did. Okay, now smush it in. And what if this orange touches my baby orange? So it's pretty. So I go smush, smash, smush, smash. <gasps> And some of this orange got on my other orange. How strange. Of course they could touch. Go a little lower, a little lower. They touched. Who cares? And then I look at what's in my paintbrush right now. Baby orange. Now I can go visit baby orange a little bit. My orange is like red. <gasps> Gorgeous. And then wait, wait, everybody pause. Should there be a perfectly straight line like a flag? No, ruin the line like this. Goodbye line. Oh, you cannot be there line. This is a sky, not a flag. Goodbye. There, yeah, scribble it. Goodbye line, I don't wanna look at you anymore. Perfect, bye. Okay, how about pink? Now I'm going to get pink. Ooh, who thinks there's a lot of color in this paint? I know, right? So just get a teeny tiny itty bitty speck, speck. And we're going to put it just above our orange. And it doesn't matter where your sky ends. It's 30 seconds from my sunrise. Who would know, right? Wait, who can guess what's going to happen? What if we smush that in and then let a little bit of pink get in our orange? New color. But let me smash in this pink real hard. So I'm going to go smash, smash. Oh, look. Do you think I got enough pink? I, I think that nothing happened. But I didn't know that until I sent, smashed it in. So I'm going to get more pink. Because that's pitiful. I would like I a prettier so, sky. But, um, yeah. Now I'm going to get pink and I just stab my pink more. More pink! Okay, there. Okay. Um, I thought I thought something else. Okay, now I'm going to go. Okay, let me try it. Oh, it's still not pink enough. Okay, I want to go again. More pink. Who knew? It depends on the company. Whoops. It depends on the company how much powder they put in there. It's called pigment. Okay, let me try again. Okay, now it's pink. Okay, now I like it. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going to paint it all the way. Once you have the right color of pink, now take it up to the top of the sky. Okay, now I like it. All right. No, mine wasn't going pink enough. But look what I have. I have a flag. No. So right here, pink, and go all the way off the page, all the way off to the top. There's no white left. Go all the way up to the tippy top. Okay, and now I'm going to, oh, what's in my paintbrush right now? Some baby pink. Well, I have orange and um, pink touching, and it looks terrible because it looks like a flag. Well, let's scribble that line and tell them to calm down. Oh, I put some orange in the pink and the pink and the orange and orange in the pink and the pink and the orange orange in the pink and the pink and the orange and orange in the pink and the pink and the orange orange in the pink. Oh, now you can't see my line. And it's 
it's all blurry and scribbly like a sky. Who wants to add more pink to theirs? You just go right ahead. It's your painting. I need mine pinker. I think you're right. I don't like my lines are too perfect. So how do you get rid of perfect lines? There, I told him to calm down. I don't like that line to go perfect and straight. Scribbly, scribbly. It's called blending. And then, then two colors became new colors where they were touching. Isn't that pretty? And then what if it's acting dry? Just put a little white on it. It's a cloud. It just becomes like a babyish color. You're like, so? So what? So? So? I put a little bit of white on it. It just helps a little bit of moisture. And then it's like, oh no, it's turning white. Well, did you know that white basically turns clear like Elmer's glue? It's like, oh, it's too white. And then it dries and you can't see the white anymore. She's Elmer's glue. She has very little actual white pigment in her. She's very frustrating white paint. She acts more like a water or a, a, a acrylic gel. You guys ever go to Home Depot and order paint and they open the lid and it's white and you're like, uh, I'm ordering brown paint. And I'm like, I know. We're going to put the brown pigment in it, but this is the white gel that spreads the pigment evenly on your wall and turns clear like Elmer's glue. That's gel. Who likes her so far? Well, everything that you hate, we're going to put clouds on it. Look. <gasps> I thought I loved my sky. Well, we're about to ruin your sky because we're gonna put clouds on it. So you're like, oh, but I love that part. Too bad. Too bad for you, because they're gonna ruin it. Okay, so not big paintbrush. Let's squeeze this paint out. So it's got pink in it. I don't want pink. So I get a paper towel, not water. Water would do a much better job, but then any water that slipped out would make is an eraser and erases it's a solvent okay so we don't want that okay so now i'm going to put this paintbrush in my paper towel and fold it over and then i squeeze the bristles really hard and i pull the paint out oh that's pretty okay now i'm gonna do it again find another spot fold it won't come perfectly clean but it'll become mostly clean and i pinch it and pull the paint out Okay, mostly clean. Look at it. It's just powder. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, and I could put the lids on my paint. On my pink, orange, and yellow. You guys could use these to paint butterflies on rocks and stuff. This is real, still good paint. And put the lid on your pink, because we don't need that right now. I end up using most of my pink. And my orange, not so much. And then where's my lid for my yellow? There it is. And then I just put these to the side, because look at our painting. Uh, thank you very much. We're all done with them colors. Okay, so we could put those to the goodbye. Get out of here. But I do still need white, because what do we make out of white? A sun, right? But it's kind of, maybe it's a moon. Maybe it's a sun set. And then it's clouds plus a moon, right? But I want, and then what is the shadow? The shadow is a little bit of pink or a little bit of purple, and the shadow only stays on the tummy and the floor. We never let the color end up at the top of our cloud. Okay. I have a question. Go ahead. Uh huh. So these three colors are orange, yellow, and pink. We we don't need them anymore. Right. You can you can have those for another project, like painting rocks or butterflies or something playing. Right. Let me go get my black thing. I'll show you. So we just need our white? Yeah, because we're going to get white, pink, and purple. So here's a blink. This is just a, a board, right? But look what I made. Right? So these are clouds. And then I put a shadow in that one. And that one, that one's boring. And that one's interesting. Because which one has 3D in it? Dark, medium, light. That one. It's darkest on the bottom. And then it turns medium, and I never let the color touch the top, right? So when you're making a when you're making a cloud, it's really shape, color, and texture, right? The shape is cloud shaped. The texture is fluffy, and then the color is trying to make 3D. 
Okay, so we need this little round paintbrush. And let me talk first before you do this. No painting allowed, right? No painting. Mia, I see you painting. Please stop painting. Okay, so here's my fluffy paintbrush. And I'm just going to ruin her a little bit because she's brand new. Just bounce it on your hand so she's, she's a little bit stiff. and is, I want her fluffy to make a pretty fluffy cloud. Okay, and now look at how she opens a little bit, right? She's fluffier. But the weird thing about clouds is they're not round on the bottom. They ride the wind like this. They're flat on the bottom. And you're like, no, -uh, lady, I've seen round ones. Yeah, maybe just before it rains, they're full on the bottom, like a big full diaper, and then they're round. But clouds are all usually always flat on the bottom, right? So we make it flat with a blob of white paint. And then we use that blob to make the fluff. So in order to make it fluffy, we turn on our engine like this. And I make teeny tiny little O's. Hold your paintbrush up in the sky and make, you know, up in the air and make teeny tiny little circles. Zero, 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 one, zero, 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 Alexander, spinning, spinning, turn on the engine. Okay, and then when it's spinning, now I make my bumps. Up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, up, down. What? So, and they need to be different sizes, right? Because this is the cloud you made when you were little. Humpty, 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 humpty. They're all M's. No. Clouds are actually different sizes and shapes made out of fluff. Okay, you want to watch me do it? So I'm going to stab my white paint. Watch me do it first. And I'm just going to go, I make a straight flat line. Okay, boring. Nobody cares. Right? And then I turn on my engine. Wait, you know how a vacuum cleaner spins like this and then goes up and down? So we are spinning, then making bumps. Watch me. It's flat. But I don't care if the bottom gets ruined. And I just go, start my engine. Let me bring it closer. And then I go up, 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 down, 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 down. Then medium, a medium bump. And then a baby bump. And then a baby bump. And then a medium bump. And then a baby bump. And then a medium bump. And then, and then the ends are always tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, then this end needs to be tiny, tiny, tiny. Cloud. See how it's flat? ish the bottom gets ruined but it's flat okay you want to try one okay so we're going to go up here and we're not touching the top of our painting it's at least a hand below the top okay Ooh, like that so i'm just going to stab my white paint and get a bunch and this one will be our most ugly one because how come confused and frustrated i think i understand easy so we have to do confused and frustrated first. So I stab my white paint. Stab. I got a lot because I would like a very fluffy cloud. Okay, and it's a hand from the top, but I'm not going to put it in the middle. Moon goes in the middle, so maybe to the side. And I'm just going to make a straight line and just go bleh. But look, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, wait, I'm a hand from the top. I don't touch the top of my painting. It's like in the orangey part. What if some of the orange part peeks through? So, okay, who thinks this is going to be your most ugly one? Probably because it's your first one. So just trust yourself. Okay, now turn on the engine, tiny little circles. Zero, 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 zero. Watch me. Which is copy. Now I go up, 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 And then you go down, 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 down. And then a little, little, little baby, baby one. And then down, 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 down. And then up, 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 Wait, how big a difference are they? Big, small, medium, big, small, medium. They're not the same height. Look, look, Miss Perez, Miss Perez. Turn your, you're spinning your paintbrush. While you're spinning, you go up. Way too big, don't care. And then a bit one, 
No matchy matchy. Those are oh, look at these two. They match. Oh, that's a F. Let me go and ruin it a little. There. Okay, now they don't match. <laughs> okay. And then what happens to the ends? Point that, point that, point that, point that. Well, let's decorate that. Is that 3D? And the ends come to a little point, and then they come to a little point. Okay, let's decorate it because is that 3D? That is not 3D, and that is so boring, I can hardly stand it. So can you get this itty bitty little square paintbrush just because she'll get less paint? The big paintbrush will get way too much paint. We just need some, a little bit. So can you find purple? I found it. Purple. Purple. Mine got crushed. Purple. Find your purple. And then I just need a little bit. I, ooh, for the shadow. Okay, so I just go and stab. I don't care. But I'm just going to wipe it off in the cloud, but on the floor of the cloud. Watch me. Okay. Bye. So I'm just going to wipe it off like it's a boogie. Ew. It's this. It's in the cloud, but on the bottom of the cloud, on the floor. Is it purple? Purple. Just like a little bit? Just And just stab it. And then drop it. Look at when you first go. It's like super thick. It's purple and it has a little bit of... Uh... Yeah, just a teeth. Because the only reason we needed purple was for this moment right now. So we don't need very much. But wait, get some more. Miss Perez, you touched it twice, which made lavender. So do it one more time. Because we need dark, medium, light. Yeah. Okay, now let's let's get our, uh, our fluffy paintbrush and try to make shadow. Okay? So, same texture. Turn on your itty-bitty engine. Run, 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 right? But... What about the top of the cloud? Do we ever let shadow touch the top of the cloud? Never. Okay, so watch me. Watch Shelby. Shelby, you're using big strokes like this. This is the wrong texture for a cloud. Clouds have this tiny little spin. Watch this. Everybody pause and look up. Even if you're busy, watch me. Stop painting. So I'm going to go, okay, I'm going to start spinning. But as I push her up, she's going to run out of purple, right? I'm running out, running out, and I never touch the top. So I go run and 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 up 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 run and run and 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 run and run and 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 up run and 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 run run and 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 oh fluff 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 there done now go don't go back and touch it more we need dark medium light and we give it permission to be ugly never touch the top of your cloud it's supposed to be white no look uh Miss Perez. This paintbrush, switch back to cloud paintbrush. The the little paintbrush was just to drop off the paint so because the big paintbrush would get too much. Now go. Run, 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 run. Just for the belly. And your paintbrush is spinning. It's a texture thing. Okay, that's your ugliest one, right? And then go up, 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 and run out of run out of purple. Up, up, and then spin, 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 spin. It's not, you're using stripes. Spin, 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 spin. It's not stripes. It's not stripes. It's spinning, spinning. This is the texture of a cloud because the wind up there is spinning, right? So we're spinning, right? Good job. We're spinning because wind spins. Okay, Mia, please stop. Okay, now we're gonna, let's put one next to her. So, and my paintbrush has a little purple in it. Don't care. Right? Wait, Miss Perez, little circles only. This is the texture. Spinning is the texture. No stripes. That's for water. Right? Texture matters. The texture, shape, and color tells you what the object is. Okay, ready? Let's do another one. Okay, that's your ugliest one. And then stretch out their ends so they're real pointy. They're real pointy. Okay, now I'm going to stab my white. Okay, good. that's my ugly one. Ugh, nobody cares. Now, how about I put another one? Do I have to make them the same height? No. I could put them slightly higher. And bigger with less care. Okay, now we're going to turn on the engine. I feel like mine's dry. Look at that. I wish I had more paint on there so it could be... I'm going to get more paint. Step. Okay, now I'm going to start... I start spinning and I don't do my pointy ends until I'm all done. 
right? Because I stretch them out and make them scratchy on the ends. But I go, okay, I start my engine. Now, now what do I do now that I'm spinning? Now I can go up and make a floof. Uh-oh, my second one cannot match the first one, so I have to choose. Go big or go small. I don't know. How about big? Okay. Okay, now I'll make a baby one. Spinning and make a poof. Oh, no! Those two match. Look what I did. No matching puffs. This one better get weirder. Make it uglier. Okay, with it there. Okay. And then now I come to a point. Now I can make the... Oh, what if they touch? What if they touch? Don't care. So how do you make a cloud? It's her spinning fluffy fluff. Like, like, be the wind that pushes up. Be the wind that pushes the next bump up. Be the spinning, right? And I see side to side scribbles that would never happen in a cloud. They're made out of spinning fluffs. Spinning, and then while I'm spinning, I go up. And then while I'm spinning, I fall down. And then while I'm spinning, I go up. And I try to make different sizes, that's the trick. Can I make a different size every time? And then the ends, are <laughs> they come to little, little long skinny strings along the floor. Okay, who needs some purple? Uh, Cause that's boring. Now that I'm looking at my other one, I like the purple, a little bit of shadow. So where's my purple? And my little, little square, this is just to drop off the purple paint, right? Get a scoop. I don't think I got enough purple last time, so I'm gonna get a smidge more this time. Just a smidge, right? And then how many color values for 3D? Three. Closest to the bottom of the cloud is the darkest. The middle of the cloud would be running out of purple. The top of the cloud is white, right? So here's my blob of purple. Just wipe it off on the floor. Blah, smooth it. Okay, done. Don't over decorate. So we do all the decorating with the fluffy paintbrush. Cool. Who knows what's gonna happen? And this is just for texture and color. We already got our shape. We're never even gonna touch the top of our cloud again. So it's just like for the floor in the tummy. Okay, so I go, oh. Fluffy, switch to my fluffy paintbrush, and I just rub her tummy. La la la, ta, stop. And la 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 la, stop. La la, just for her tummy, and that's all. But never the top. And then la 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 la, la and that's all. And then la 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 la, la la la, that's all. And I give it permission to have dark pieces, medium pieces, and light pieces, because that's 3D. And I made them out of fluffs. And I, wait, Miss Perez, we're using back to cloud paintbrush. She's just fluffier. And just, and just uh, do the top of your cloud because you've already decorated the tummy. Give the cloud some white fluff because there's a little bit of white on your paintbrush and just give her a little bit of white fluff. Fluff, 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 fluff. And then what happens to our ends? What makes it look like a cloud? What happens to the wind? It yanks on our clouds and makes them pointy. The wind does that and goes, <laughs> Like that, so they're always pointy on the end. <laughs> okay, who wants to make more? Me, but you know what? There's purple in my paintbrush. And I would like my next cloud to have some pink in it, so I'm gonna lick it off. No, I'm not. I get a paper towel. Silly, who's gonna lick it, you crazy people? So I get a paper towel and I squeeze out the purple. There. And it won't come all the way out, but most of the purple came out, so my next cloud can be white. Who would like to, um, when they're done, add more clouds later? Now that you're getting better at them, you can. But let's just do the ones we are going to do now. And you can always go back later, now that you're an expert, and do more clouds. Because the first ones are ugliest, because we were trying to learn shape, color, and texture all at once. The second one, we went from frustrated to understanding. Now these ones will be easier because our brain gets it, right? Okay, so we can go lower. Wanna see mine?
But what was my shadow color? Pink. You can do pink and purple. I don't care. But look at, I didn't let any white, any color touch the top of my cloud because that's a na 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 na. Okay. Who's ready? You can do pieces of cloud like this or one big giant cloud. How do you feel? Right? So now I'm going to get my white paint. Stab! And below, I would like the pink to show. So I'm going to go down into yellow because I like this pink sky. So I'm going to go where it, because I don't really care about the yellow sky. And there's plenty of it. So maybe I go down into yellow and I just go, wee! Humongous. And I don't even care. Shelby, I think you're painting a cloud like this. Painting a cloud is made out of circles. This is the texture of clouds. Round and round and round and round. Okay, who's ready? Let me get some more paint on my paintbrush. It'll be extra fluffy, extra white. Stop my white. Okay. And, okay, I don't know. Who knows what to do? I don't know. Turn on the engine. Right? And then how many bumps? I don't know how many bumps. I'm going to guess. How how many sizes of bumps? A big bump, medium bump, little bump, soft, small bump, little bump. I don't know. We'll see. So I start spinning. Now that I'm spinning, now I can make a bump. Okay, I made a baby bump. Okay, next one. Maybe I'll make a, me, me, a big fat one. Okay. And then my next one might be tall. Okay. Ew, it's not very fluffy. It looks like an egg. Let me put some f weirdness on it. There, there. okay. I put some weirdness on it because it looks like a smooth egg. Okay. And then maybe another one. And then big, 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 big. Small, 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 small. And then what happens on the ends? Tiny, tiny, itty, bitty, bitty. Now you did. I don't like this one either. I'm going to put a floof on it. Just put a weirdness on it. Because it'll be perfect. Okay. And then, ooh, what about this end? She's not pointy yet. Oh. It's not scratch, scratch. It's, I'm spinning, spinning, tiny, 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 tiny. Like Barbie was making letter O's. Okay, wow. Did you like purple? You're going to love purple and pink. Okay, so where's little paintbrush? We only need her to drop off color because giant paintbrush would get a huge amount of paint. Calm down, right? So I go, okay, where's purple? And I'm going to put it in a, like a few places because mine is so long. What if you're making small ones? You get more chances. Perfectly fine. So I'm going to go... Because uh, mine is long, I'm going to go a purple piece, a purple piece, you know, purple piece. I don't know. Right. And then I could get pink. I got to clean my paintbrush off. And maybe pink where there's no purple. They're, you know they're going to mix together when we make our fluff. But it will be gorgeous. So now I get a scoop of pink. Scoop it! Remember how see-through pink was when we tried to make the sky out of it? And you were like... What is wrong with this pink? She's totally see-through. So I just use plenty. I'm a glob of pink. And it looks really dark until you mix her with white. Right? Just glob it on. Because you know they're going to mix. And they're going to be so cute. And then switch to cloud paintbrush. And then this is just for the... And I do one piece at a time. One little section. And I do the floor. The floor of the cloud. And then I do the middle of the cloud, but then I don't go any higher. And then I go to the next section and I do the floor of the cloud and then the middle of the cloud. And then I stop and I do the next section, right? Watch. Are you ready? Let me pull it closer. Here I go. This is the floor. Okay. Now I do the row above that. Oh, okay there. That's not, that's too tight. Okay. So now I touch another section and then a little higher. Oh, right now. And then I, oh, now I'm touching pink. Ooh, I don't even care. And I do the floor, and I do a little higher, and then I run out. And then I do the next section, a little floor, and a little higher. And then floor, and then a little higher. 
but never the tops. And then the floor, and a little higher. And then the floor, and then a little higher. And then the floor, and a little higher. And then what happens to the corner corners? Tana, 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 tana. Tana, 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 tana. Who feels like they have a part that's too dark? Could you just get some more white? Especially the tops are supposed to be white, right? So I could just go, oh, calm down top of the cloud. And I put it on with spins. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Spinny, spinny, spin. Spinny, spin, spin, spin. Oh, yeah, just the tops would like to be a little bit more white. La, 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 la. There. Ooh, don't mix it in too much. Ooh, I have dark pieces, medium pieces, light pieces. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I'm going to, I don't like how straight the bottom is. Let me ruin it a little bit. La, 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 la. There. It's a little perfect. Let me ruin the bottom. There. It's still flat ish, but it was a little perfect. It's not literally supposed to be perfectly straight. Let me ruin the bottom. Okay, there. It's straight-ish. You know, flat-ish. But not literally a straight line. Who likes that? Dark, medium. Do you have dark? Do you have medium? Do you have light? Nice. Okay, now let's make a moon, right? So we're going to use our finger because our finger can make a better circle than a paintbrush. So I'm just gonna use my finger and I use the flat part of my finger. Like this, not the bone, not the straight ahead pointy part. She's too sharp. So I use the flat part. And where we should put it? What if the moon touches your clouds? So, so I just go, oh. And did you know you can't make a circle because you were born human? It's your parents' fault for being born human. So instead of, okay, well, what can I draw? A rainbow and a smile. So watch this. Everybody pause and look up. Watch me. Everybody pause. I make a rainbow and then I make a smile. Do not try to go in one go. I go circle. Oh, shoot. I ruined it. And then I go bigger. Oh, shoot. I ruined it and go bigger. Oh, shoot. I ruined it. Right? So if I want to make it bigger, I just go, oh, more paint. And then I go, I would like a rainbow and then a smile and a rainbow 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 smile smile way easier to control than trying to do a swirl because this you'll never make a, ra a perfectly round you just can't it's your humanness look at mine look at i'm supposed to be an artist mine looks like an egg right like how come because i tried i went round and round let me try again okay a, a rainbow and then a smile. Okay, that's right. Rainbow. And then, okay, now it's round. And then I just feel where's our finger? Our finger, because look how smooth it is. And it makes an incredibly smooth texture of paint. It's right. Once I have my awesomeness of my outline, um, and now I can go like that and put that smooth, buttery. And it takes a lot of paint, right? And you go rainbow, smile, rainbow, smile, and then you'll get a circle. I'm going to put a teeny bit of purple in mine. I'm going to get a speck of purple because it's not 3D. But look at how much purple I got. Maybe just a little, a little bit. Let's put it in her tummy. Not the edges. Just in her tummy. I put a little purple in her tummy on the moon. Who's going to make more uh, clouds when we're done? Later? Could you paint over the clouds you're already done when they're dry and do them again? Yes. Because what must happen when you're learning? I don't know. Confused, frustrated, right, angry. It's your first. What? what? And then, then I think I understand it. And then easy. Once it's easy, you could go back over and do the frustrating hard ones that you were learning on. Okay, now water. Super fun. Go back and find giant paintbrush. Or wait. No, no, no. Let's use this paintbrush. Since we're never, no, because 
Well, if you if we'll have to wash if you want to make more clouds, we'll have to wash this paintbrush out so it will pure white again, right? Because we're about to ruin this with some dirty blue. Okay. Okay. So let's put some um, blue paint. Where's all our colors for water? Watch this. Okay. Where's mine? Oh. Okay. I'll put them right here on the thing. So I have dark blue. Boom. Look at that dark blue in there. Look at those pieces of dark blue. Boom, right? There's dark blue. Oh, that won't work. I want to just set it on the edge. See if I can do it. There. And then, oh, look at this green. What does green, this dark green and blue make? Turquoise. We're going to make it. And then baby blue. Little highlights of baby blue. And then, how, what are the what is the uh, the brightest color? So I need three D, right? Mine's not staying; it won't stay. And then I need hey, some white. And then, uh huh, all those blue colors and green and some white. Do I want the white to disappear completely and just become baby blue? No, that looks awesome. Having pieces of white, it's like the moon shining on my water. Okay, so let me, let's open all of our watercolors. Okay, I open my dark blue. I open my baby blue. And I open my super dark green that's gonna make turquoise. Love. Her name is Pythantho Green. She is weird. And then, of course, my white for highlights. Because how many color values do you need for 3D? Dark, medium, light. So, dark blue dark green, baby blue, and white. Okay, you ready? So we're gonna do dark blue first. And ew, there's purple blue in my paintbrush. I gotta get it out. So I'm gonna lick it off. No, I'm not. I just squeeze it out like this, squeeze and pinch the paint out. Cause that is not the color of water there. But if I wanna go back and make clouds later, I gotta wash this out. Otherwise it'll all turn out blue. Okay, because dark blue stains. She's so dark. Okay, so I stab dark blue. Stab it. Because in order to make a perfectly straight line that's thick and smooth like that, it is the thickness of the paint on your paintbrush that will make it smooth like that. So I go like this, and, I, and I'm going to go under the line. Everybody pause and look up. Watch this. And I go, and I get the blue paint. And then I smash my paintbrush, smash. And then I sneak up and that one hair on the top of my paintbrush, I push up and then I push and the paint is gonna squeeze out from underneath my paintbrush and make a straight line, right? So you know how a bulldozer pushes sand like this and then the sand squeezes out on both sides, you know, it pushes away. Well, we're gonna do that with this thick paint. Watch this, okay, goodbye painting. I just want a nice smooth top. Sometimes you have to just get it wet and then go back and make it smooth. But look at you can still see mine. But I, I don't want to look at it anymore. So I'm going to put the water on top of the sky. So everybody pause and look up. Watch me. I'm going to smash. Oh, look at my paintbrush. She got huge. But what am I actually going to stare at? The whole paintbrush? No, that one top hair. So I sneak up, up, up. Oh, now I'm on the sky. Push. And how long do you think it will last before it runs out of paint already? Ugh! Just get more paint. Stab the blue. And then smash underneath it. Sneak up. Push. And look at that thick bead of paint that's making it so smooth. And then I ran out. And then I go stab with the blue. Smash. Sneak up. Oh, one hair is touching. One hair. I'm only staring at one hair. Oh, that lasted a good long time. And then more blue. And I'm always going, I land and open my paintbrush and push up and let one hair squeeze out. Oh, that's ruined. Look at that. It's not smooth. Good thing I'm going to do it twice. Now that it's wet, now I can go back and go and stare at that one top hair. And try to connect them all. I'm pushing my paint and a big bead of paint is squishing out the top of my paintbrush. And I have a straight line call my horizon line. Now you do it. And look, Mia, Mia, I'm using this paintbrush to try to control the line. 
Look, and water, water is only straight and flat. Look, look, Alan, straight and flat. Water is the texture of water is straight and flat. You can't go up and down. That's grass or fence posts. So we go side to side only for water. So make a nice, smooth, straight line for the water first. Keep going, Alexander. All the way across. Stab your paint. Push. Stab your paint. Push. Yes. Look at, no more paint. Stab your dark blue paint. Stab it. Alexander, stop. Stab your dark paint blue. The more paint, the smoother the line. Now go. Watch. Oh, smooth. It's the thickness of the paint that makes, okay. Now that we have a nice flat top, let's put some blue here and there, okay? So get a scoop of blue like this. So go scoop. Oh, I scooped my blue. And let's just put some blobs of blue, like here, and in the middle, and then here, and near the bottom. Okay, that's all. I just put blobs. Why? What's, what's going to smooth them all down? This paintbrush. Right? After I put all my colors, streak, streak. Not yet. Okay, I was just giving you a hint. Okay? So, huh, big globs. Glob. Another big glob. Huh, who's, no, no, not, not a little bit. A huge, disgusting amount that we can smear later. Scoop it. Smash it. Look at how thick mine is. Mine is trying to drip right there, and I don't even care. Cause it'll be nice and dark right there. Okay, now I'm gonna get now I'm gonna get green. Where's dark green? My dirty paintbrush in the green turquoise. So I'm gonna scoop my dark green. What? What? I know. Scoop it like ice cream. And then I'm gonna put okay wherever there's not blue. Maybe I could put some green strings. And do they all supposed to be the same size? No. Long piece. Medium, oh, I already ran out. I need more green. I only got one scoop, put one line out of it. Okay, here. And another big scoop. And then here. Okay, and then over here. Okay. Wait, another spot. Right there. Fall off the page. Okay. Look how much more full of water mine is. How much white do I have left? I'm trying to get rid of all the white. I do not want a white canvas for water. I'm just telling the colors to go new places. That's all. Go over there. Go over there. Go over there. But I just want them in different places so they don't match. Okay. <gasps> baby blue. So whatever isn't green or blue, put baby blue. All right. You can be here and you can be here and you can be over there and over there. And baby blue can be over here. Oh, oops, I just went inside the dark green. That was a mess. And near the very bottom, bottom. And over there, okay. And um, in that corner, bye white. Batum, batum. Ooh, they're mixing. I'm trying not to, but they touched. Bye white, get out of here white. Get another giant scoop of baby blue and get rid of all that white stuff. So how many colors have I used already? I used a whole bunch of blue. And then I used a whole bunch of green because it will make turquoise. Look at my greens all gone. That's how much I used. So there. And then I used baby blue. Now how many colors is that? Dark, medium, light. Dark blue, dark green, baby blue. Okay. And then is there any white showing? Look at your painting and look at my painting. Just go kill them all. Bye, 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 goodbye, 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 goodbye. There. All right. Alan, I see a bunch of white on your water. Go get them. Get it, get it, get it. Pick a color. It, no, no, not up and down. Alan, 
Water has to be straight and flat. How come? Because of gravity. Look at mine. Look at Alan. Straight and flat and straight and flat and straight and flat. Right? Not up and down. That's grass. Now I'm going to clean my paintbrush. Because you know what I want to put now? Keep going, Alan. Fill it in. Just side to side. And then pick another color. Then whoosh. Then pick another color. Put the dark green. Put the baby blue. Put the put the uh, dark blue again. Put the dark green. Yes. Look. Okay. Now I gotta clean my paintbrush because I want to go get white. And and Alexander, you have a whole, all your paint. All your water is white. Look out. Look, Alexander. Can you pretend you're five? How would a five-year-old paint this? Would they care? No. Scoop your paint and smash it on. And scoop your paint and smash it on. Have more fun. You're thinking too much. Decorate, decorate, dot, dot, dot. And then after it's blue, then it could be green. Then after it's green, and then it could be baby blue. Okay, now I clean my paintbrush pinch because now I'm going to put some white globs on there for the shimmer shine. And, and I don't, this is, this look how filthy my paintbrush was. I cleaned it, right? Keep going, Alexander. Paint like a baby, like I don't care. Slop it on there and pick a different color over there. And then pick it, there you go. Now I'm gonna get white. Now look, where did my white go? Everywhere? No, one, two, three, four places. That's all. So I'm gonna get a scoop of white and I'm gonna go, look how much white I got. I don't care. And I go, one, two, three, four. Okay, maybe one more. You know what I forgot? The middle. I went above and below, but I forgot the middle. Okay, middle. <laughs> okay. Don't rub it in. We're just dropping it off. Okay, now find your big fluffy paintbrush. Now put globs of white, decorate, oh, Alexander, now it's looking good. Now. But don't rub in the colors, we're dropping them off. Because when do we actually decorate with this big paintbrush? But mine's dry. You want to see me rough it up? Watch this. Oh, I rub it on my hand and she becomes fluffy again. She was just, wait, she was a little like, stiff. Now she's not. Okay, now I'm going to smooth it. Remember smoothing? We did it on the on the sky. Watch me, everybody pause, even if you're busy. No, don't do it, Alexander, watch. Do you see my globs of white? Look at my white. Put globs of white. Now wait, don't paint. Now I'm gonna go off the page to off the page. Then I go a row lower, off the page to off the page. Then I go a row lower and I might hit white. I might not, it's none of my business. You wanna see me do it? So watch, I go, I go, push and pull and then go lower and then go lower and then go lower and then I'm done. Did I mix them in all the way? No, I just gave them permission to be streaks. Push, pull. Who needs more color? Did your colors dry already? Cause just get some more dark blue and add a little tank, 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 then push. Pull, push, pull. A little bit more dark green. And then push, uh-oh, I got rid of my white. Look at mine, I killed my white. I have to clean my paintbrush so I can get some white. Let me put some more, watch. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, streak, streak. I'm streaking my white, just streaking. Okay, stop. What happens if I touch that one more time? It'll just be baby blue. I'm trying to make white streaks, right? So gentle when I do the white. Oh wait, and look, the, hold your paintbrush this skinny way like this, and now you can sneak up to the top, cause it's a little dark blue, right? So I can go, let me just drop off a little color on that dark blue right there. There, just a little gentle, gentle. Who's gonna make more clouds later? But you know what might be in the way? Palm tree. 
But the palm trees are made out of black. So you have to watch me make these and then copy me. Okay? Because this, is this a real palm tree? No. This is the shape, the color, and the texture of a palm tree that makes you think it's a palm tree. It is not a palm tree. It just reminds you of one. Okay? So as long as we remind ourselves of one, we're doing a good job. So find your little red, little square paintbrush and give it a look at there's paint on it. Ew! So give it a little pinch. Bye. Okay, we cleaned it. Now we're gonna find black. Can you find black? Hello, black. And then when we make our palm trees, we do not scribble. We want one line to do all the work, right? But we might have to drive over the same line twice. Look at this. When I tried to make my trunk, I went, oh, it's super black. And watch me run out of color. I didn't go back and make it black again. I should have. Look at that. It's all see-through. Why didn't I fix it? I don't know. Wait, I don't understand how we do that. Oh, I'm gonna, we're gonna do it in a minute. I was just showing how, look at how see-through black is. You think she's solid? You got, You kind of have to use the flat part of the paintbrush to flatten the paint on. The tip seems to scratch the paint off. Does that make sense? She's too sharp. You're like, what? And I didn't go back and fix it, whatever. But we're gonna make this palm tree first, okay? So. We just got, we just want a dot to, cause palm trees are like flowers. All their, all their leaves, there's no branches in a palm tree, right? They're just leaves that poof out from the middle like a flower. There's no tree on the planet like this, right? Poof. So I just need the dot to be the middle of my tree. So I'm going to poke my black and let me show you where it is. There's my moon. Oh, so it's not direct. It's like right there. And it's three fingers above the water. What? I'll show you. So I got the black on my paintbrush. I'm going to make a dot to hold the spot for me. But here's my moon. So I go three fingers above the water and a dot. Okay. I just went like that. I just want to know where the middle of my tree is. So it's three fingers from the water, dot. That's all. Just so we're not touching the water. Okay, and then now I'm gonna hold my paintbrush the, the, like this way. Look, I'll show you with the big paintbrush. Like that, right? And I'm just gonna make a little arch and I just go, oh, like a flat rainbow, blah, blah, like that. But I'm gonna go, all right, how big is a branch? Let me see, um, a whole hand. She, oh, four, four fingers? See the little branch from, uh, meh, meh, four fingers, okay. So I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna hold it the skinny way. Whoops, dropping my painting. But I hold it and I'm just going to go uh, like I'm going to straight up and then I point like I'm pointing off the painting that way. So I go straight up and look off the page. Wait, wait, wait. Four fingers? Yeah. So up and look off the page. Look over there. Jump up. Look over there. Now you do it. You could trust yourself. And I'm holding my paintbrush the skinny way so it makes a skinny line. Yeah. Whee! And then look over there. She's pointing. So right now, you just have to do that line. Uh -huh. just now, watch this. What are these right here? One, 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 one. Aren't they just? Are those leaves? They're just, yeah. These are called palm fronds. And they're number ones and they point straight down. You're gonna to wanna to tilt them, but because of gravity, they point straight down. Watch this. So I get more black. 
and I just touch the line and point straight down and it's as big as a number one. And one, 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 one. Now you do it. Look how I'm holding my, oh sorry, I forgot. I'm holding my paintbrush like this. Look, so I'm like a little knife. Right, okay, go. Well, that looks ridiculous. It looks like a, a comb. But at least I know how long they're supposed to be. So now can you go get more black paint and go one, 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 and fill it in? And then the end, just like our clouds, because nature does this, the cloud, clouds are tiny on the end. Well, my palm fronds are real tiny, 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 right? So I get more black, stab. Now I'm just going to get um, put a whole bunch of them. <gasps> one, 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 one. And they can touch. I ran out of paint. I'm going to hold my black. It's too far away. And I go one, 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 And I'm holding my paintbrush the skinny way up and down like this so they're like really sharp like a knife. Wait, I don't understand how to do this. Okay, let me do it up close. Let me tell you. Let's go closer. I just go one, 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 one. It's a number one. You can draw a number one. And then after I have a weird comb, did touch. It's a part of the same leaf. So now I just go one, 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 one. Wait, wait, straight up and down. Look, look, their palm fronds go like this. Hold up one, 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 one. Straight down, perfectly straight down because of gravity. They point down. Okay, let's make another one. So stab your, that's perfect. Now stab, stab uh, your black paint. Let's make another one. And she's like, she's like, uh, jumps out, but she's like pointing at the water. And she's like, uh, look at the water. Uh, look at the water. But don't they all touch the same middle spot, like a flower? So watch me. And I'm going to hold it the skinny way and go, wee. Look at the flat. Look at the, hey, I did blue. That black, that blue paint tricked me. I'm going to put the lid on the blue. She looked black to me. I'm gonna put the lid on it so I don't mess up. Oh, rude. Okay, I'm gonna hold my black. <laughs> okay, and then she went, woo, look at the water. And then, and, oh, wee, boink. Yeah, okay, now, and then she hangs down. And then what does she need? Palm fronds. So I get more stab and I put my, make my comb. They look terrible at first. Okay, Miss Press, you made that one really long. They all have to be the same length. So since she is this long, can you make that one the same length? So, uh oh, that means I do too. Uh oh, they're supposed to be the same length. So I had to make that one longer. Okay, because the flower. So since this one's super long, make that top one the same, like if I was measuring. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's just a thing. Okay, now I can put their ones. One, 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 one. One, 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 one. Nobody cares because it's so boring. It looks like a comb and I hate it. And how long are they? Wait, make them longer. If this is this long, how long will her palm fronds be? Very long. It's a humongous tree. You just made a humongous tree so she'll have you. Okay. More proportional. Look at uh, at least two fingers long. Look, Alexander. Two fingers long. My little palm fronds are two fingers. They're long. They're not like, and they do go into the water. Okay, that's my comb. Now make my palm fronds. Get more black and go one, 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 one. Yay. And they're at least two, two fingers long. Two fingerprints. Two fingerprints. Yep. Alexander, yours looks like this. Look. Alexander, yours looks only one fingerprint big. Like a baby. Can you make them longer? Like 
two, two fingers could fit over them. Use your fingers and measure. Try to hide your palm fronds with two fingers. Look how small yours are. They need to be longer, longer, longer. Yours, are, you're making yours too short. Look at mine. Look how long they are. They're super long. They're su super long. Okay. And they're very black. They're not invisible black. Okay, now we can do another one. And this one's gonna be tired. So I'm gonna jump out and I go oh, all the way in the water like she's sleepy. So I get more black and I go, way. Oh, she's tired. And and look, I'm using, look, wait, 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 Alan, Alan. It's this little square paintbrush. She's a little blue one. Use your blue, yes. That big one is a little fat. She's gonna make a big line. So this will make a skinny line. Okay, now I get to put, oh, you're gonna wanna tilt them, but no, it still goes straight down because of gravity. One, 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 and they just kind of stack on top of each other. Gravity said so. And how long are they? They're two fingers big, just like that one. And he's tired. And how long is he? As long as the other guys. If they're that long, this one's long but pointing down like he's tired. Tired. And use plenty of paint so they're not see-through. Okay, now I'm going to do another one. Okay, now I get to oh, jump out the other way. What if this one points at the moon a little bit? Now I'm gonna jump out and go, woo! Oh, she was higher. And now she's pointing off the page, but oh, she went, she went, look up there. And then what does she get? A bunch of ones. One, 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 boring. And Miss Perez, there's a little sleepy one. It puts, she's pointing down at the water and she's very tired. She still arches, but she's sleepy. And then should I leave it like that, looking like a comb? No. Now I get more black paint and I go, one, 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 one. And she's just, she, was, she was just more excited. She went like this. She hopped a little higher. Oh, and they're always tiny, tiny, tiny on the end, end, end. And they get real itty bitty 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 on the end. How come? Just like clouds do. Okay, let's make another one. And this one just like in the middly part. So I just go, wait, I don't know. And there's five fronds so far. Five palm fronds. And then one, 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 one. More black. One, 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 one. Fill it in. La 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 la. And those little ratties things sticking out the bottom. Maybe one more, maybe a baby one. Maybe, hello, I'm a baby one. I'm a baby, I was just born and I'm tired. And then look, Miss Perez, look, they measure them with your fingers. If this one's this long, I bet the other side is the same length because it's the same tree. Hmm? 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 Don't be afraid to touch the water. She's in front of the water. She's like, excuse me, get out of my way, water. I'm in the front. And I'm the same length. I'm the same length. I'm the same length. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, now let's make a tree trunk. You ready? Hey, Alan, do you have any going the other way too? Yes, there you go. And they have little palm fronds. One, 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 one. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to make a tree trunk. Okay. So where does my tree trunk go? 
Oh, I heard that. Was that Alexander? Good job, Alexander. I see your tree. But look at this trunk. I'm just going to draw it for ugly first and then go back over it and make it black. But I just need to... <laughs> Alexander, you're not, um, you're not fully loaded and it sounds scrambly to me. Do you know what I mean? You're, um, it goes like that. Hold on your question. Okay, now I'm going to touch the center right there. And I'm just going to fall off the page wherever I fall off. I like the corner. But what if I don't hit the corner? So, I've never been to this island. I don't know. Right? Alexander, you're, you're still sounding uh, scrambly. Okay, watch this. So, I'm going to touch the middle. And I don't care if I go on top of the palm frond. Okay, turn yours off, Alexander. <laughs> okay, whoever is the administrator, can you um, mute everybody? Okay, now, now I'm going to go like this and touch the center of where the trunk starts and just shoot for that corner. Okay, and I'm just going to touch and go, and I'm going to run out of paint because it's too far. I'm going to run out of paint. So I'll just draw it just to see. And I go, wee corner. And I'm going to run out of paint and I don't care. I could go back over it. I just want to attach this tree off the page to that corner over there. Wee Or off the page in the corner over there. Well, now I need a little bit more black and make it blacker. I'm going to go back over it nice and slow because you know I'm going to make the, the trunk too fat because I'm going to go over it too thick because I go too fast. Okay, there. I always go too fast. Okay, now can we put another little palm frond? Maybe a little higher and right here. What if my trees touch? So, trees touch. Right? So, if this one is my ugliest one, will this one be easier? This one was, I don't understand. This one will be easier. So I just go, well, let's find uh, the middle of my painting. And this one is um, a hand away from the um, side because I don't want to touch the side and I want plenty of room. Look at how much littler they are. They're like a baby. But I'm a hand from the side and three fingers from, or maybe four fingers from the top. Let's see. So I got my black paint. I just want to measure. So I'm a hand from the side of the painting. Right? So it's about here somewhere. And then four fingers up, I guess, uh, there. Oh, they're definitely going to touch. Look at my paintings. My trees are going to touch. I don't care. So how do we make palm fronds? Oh my gosh, you already know. So I hold my paintbrush the skinny away and I just go, let's make a, a one that jumps up and points off the page. Hello. But she's smaller. She's a baby. Now you do it. Wee, like a baby. She's a little, little, like a baby. And then what does she need? One, 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 one. At first I make the skeleton. And then what do I do? I go back and add all the little onesies in between. One, 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 one. How come that was easier? So did we already do frustrated and confused? Yeah. And then did we get to understanding? Yeah. And now we're already at uh, easy? Yeah. Good job. Good brain. That's how brains work. Okay. So you have to give yourself permission to be, ah, and then you get to the understanding part. Most people give up when they get confused. What part are we in? I'm, oh, I'm hi. Alexander it. came back. Yay. And I can hear you now. Okay. So we're going to make a second palm front. Palm front. I'll just show you real quick, but she's over here. But look at how much smaller she is. She's a just born baby. So the little itty bitsy, and she's four fingers from the water and a whole hand from the side. So we don't want her to touch the side. So I put my, so now I'm gonna put my dot, four fingers from the water and a whole hand from the side. And I put my dot. Wait, you guys did that piece of tree that I never got to do. You were showing me it, but I said that. 
All of your screens were just black. And, and we were trying to tell you that we couldn't hear you and you need to log off and log back on. Okay, so so don't interrupt. Just catch up. Okay, now I'm going to go and, and go maybe one that shoots off the other way. Wee! Oh, I touched the I touched the cloud. Is that bad? No. My cloud looks farther away because when I put something in front of something, it gets farther away. And now I go one, 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 one. Hey, it looks like a bird. One, 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 one. Okay, now I'm gonna put some more palm fronds. Who where do you want one? Maybe it points down as tired? Oh. I just go one, 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 one. Exactly. See? What could you do it without thinking? How come? You went past understanding all the way to easy. You're like, oh, I know how to make these. Pshuh. But they do, they do bend. They have a little curve, right? Because they're palm fronds. Okay, maybe, uh-oh, this one's going to touch this one and be in front. Is that bad? No. I'm just going to go, hello, I'm in front. And they touch, and I don't care. And I just go one, 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 one. Because when something touches something, it looks like it's in front. Now it just looks like a crazy bird with four, four, four wings. Alan, how many how many palm fronds is your tree gonna have? I have four, and you have how many? Oh, I'm beating you, Alan. I'm beating you. I'm faster than you, and you're jealous of me. Go ahead and catch up with us, Alan. Okay, now maybe um some baby ones that hang down like no, no, no. You know, tired ones. And then they still they still point down. So one 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 one. And then and then where's her trunk? Over there. Parallel. Who knows that word parallel? They run at the same angle to each other. They don't cross, right? So I just go off the page. So I just get some black and go, I don't know, off the page. Hello. And I just attach it to the side of the painting. Hello, I'm attached. Ta-da! Who thinks if you painted the same painting again, it would make more sense? What about our sky? Blending, mixing two colors, stacking our colors. Clouds, flat bottoms, fluffy, dark, medium, light. Our water, four kinds of colors to make 3D without over mixing them. Our shape, color, and texture of a palm tree. Are these really palm trees? No, they're the shape, color, and texture that reminds us of a palm tree we've seen before. Does that make sense? Are these really clouds? No. These are shape, colors, and textures of clouds we might have seen before. That's all we have to do. What if you want to make more clouds? You better wash this paintbrush out really, really, really good and squeeze it with a paper towel to make sure no color comes out. Then you know it's clean. Okay, uh, Alexander, all you have left, you just need a trunk. Attach your tree off the page. So she's attached and the island's over here somewhere. Somewhere off the page that we can't see, you know? So we just go, zip! And now she's attached. Excellent! See? And then wait, Alexander, how come one tree is darker than the other tree? What? One of your trees is darker than the other tree. Do you want to add a little bit so they match some some thicker painted uh, palm frond on there? So there, see how one looks like see-through, like a ghost, and the other one looks darker? Add a little something-something to the baby tree so there's a matching darkness. Just a little bit, just something. Good job, you guys. Excellent job. 